Alright, to give context about this video, about this story, I think I'm now at a point in my life where I'm starting to get comfortable and stable and I think hindi siya ganun kaganda. This segment of this channel is called Adulting in the Philippines. And here in the show, we talk about topics relating to adulting in the Filipino context. Hope you enjoy the show. To clarify things, I am not complaining. I am not unhappy. To be honest, I'm in a very good place, good spot in my life. And I'm very, very grateful kung ano yung ginagawa ko ngayon and how I achieved it. Kaya lang, uh, I think... Uh, if you know me, if you know my backstory, I was able to like do things or achieve what I want by going out of my comfort zone or doing things na it's it's uncommon. So ayun, I just just want to share these thoughts for people who are in a limbo or parang di nila figure out kung ano yung sa nila. But sometimes uh, just have to take new things to do para. Uh, to simulate your your happiness. Just to give more context, more story about this, let me share to you yung mga ginawa ko before where I try new things and it, it gives me like uh, happiness or new story to tell. And it turns out great even though may mga pumalpak akong mga ginawa before. So first story is yung nag-start kami ng t-shirt with, with, with a group of my friends nung college. Alright, my biggest take on that story is I was able to learn how to be committed, how to be passionate about things that you really want to do, you want to try. And ayun, uh, back then, sobrang takot na takot ako mag-commit. And there was a time na, well, how we did this is, uh, we asked for prepayment or, yun, we asked for prepayment muna before they are able to, like, a reservation niya. Let's just put it in that way. Ayun, we asked for reservation fee before we, we, we do the shirts. So, what happened is, naglagay lang kami ng uh, poster ng picture and yun, no, poster ng t-shirt na gagawin namin. And there are people who reserve yung, yung shirt. And, uh, nung ginawa namin yun, hindi pa naman talaga namin, alam mo paano namin gagawin yung mga shirts. So, what happened is, nagkaroon kami ng uh, amount of money, yung reservation fee ng mga nagbayad. And there's a point in time na tinatry na, yun na, now we have the money, tapos, we are trying to generate samples muna para before mass production we, we, we try uh, to ask for samples in some manufacturer that we don't have any ma manufacturer pa nun. we don't know anything so akala namin magiging madali lang siya and uh, there are nights where yung mga samples na pinagawa namin it's like a week before they, they do one sample and hindi siya nagmamatch dun sa poster it's not even close. So, ayun, sobrang kabadong kabado ako. Takot na takot ako na ano nila yung sasabihin namin dun sa mga uh, nagpa-reserve na ay, sorry, hindi namin uh, kaya palang gawin. And hindi naman pwede yun. So, yun, sobrang, sobrang uh, uh, yun, yung mga nights na it was very, I was very anxious. And then, uh, buti na lang yung mga partners ko before they're really good. Uh, and they just keep trying, keep trying, keep looking, keep looking. And eventually, yun nga, there's one sample na, ooh, yun na. That's, that's the shirt, or that's the manufacturer na we, we will uh, partner with to produce the shirts na nagawa namin. And yun, uh, after that, parang nagkaroon ako ng courage or yung tapang, lakas ng loob to, to start and try new things. After yung shirt na yun, I felt I could do anything kasi we succeeded dun sa paggawa ng shirt, pagproduce ng shirt and we were able to sell a good sum of shirts ng mga panahon yun and after nun, uh, there's a friend na lumapit sa akin who's, who's into networking and ayun, umuha naman ako kasi yun nga, uh, I felt uh, yung superman effect if, if you're familiar in stock trading parang ganyan feeling mo eh na everything you, you'll try, you'll do, magsasucceed ka and ayun, uh, I learned the hard way na there's no shortcut in in doing things. Ah, uh, kasi yun yung ano eh, yun yung parang pinapakita nung yun yung selling point ng mga uh, networkers back then na uh, you could like have this 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 in a very short amount of time and yun ah, uh, it was a very humbling experience na it's not it's not the way. Ah, uh, you need to build things like step by step. There's no shortcut. Yeah, I guess that's just the uh, biggest takeaway uh, that I'll, I'll get 
from that story. Then the story of how I started to have an idea of creating digital content. Uh, hindi ko naman din inexpect na it would arise from our trip sa Palawan back in 2016. So ayun, uh, just just a uh, uh, little story behind it. Pumunta kami ng uh, Palawan with, with my college friends in 2016. Uh, that was probably summer kasi kakapasa pala nila ng uh, board exam nila. And a friend of mine brought her GoPro and recorded like the trip. And yun, just from that, uh, I asked for the files, the videos. And yun, gumawa na ako ng video from that. I was inspired probably by Sam Calder nung mga panahon na yun. Then, just before I graduated from college, I was able, I was able to get a job from a uh, insurance company as an, uh, as an insurance advisor. Kasi alam ko na nung point na yun na I don't wanna be an electronics engineer. So yun, uh, uh, nung simula, it was really tough, it was really hard. Kasi yung mga friends ko, my, my market, just currently graduated nung point na yun. And they can't get insurance for me. It's not that they can't, they can't afford yet. So yun, uh, as time goes by, just grind, just hustle, try to make it work. And yun, eventually yung market ko, uh, right? So paano ba? Nahinog? That's, that's, I guess, it's a better term. And eventually they get insurance for me, which is how I was able to survive and make a living. And yeah, I'm very grateful to my friends who, who support me with that. And yun, uh, I guess that's the story behind how I was able to make a living while doing what I want. I have to change spot because I'm feeling ko the video will be boring. But to be honest, that's the best spot in our house that has the best natural lighting. So yun, let's just continue the story and I'll try to uh, end up dun sa pinag ko ng video na to. Uh, ah, let's just, let's just uh, continue with my story. So yun, ah... Uh, Next thing na tinry ko is to uh, do stock market trading. Nung unang tinry ko siya, I don't have any system, I don't have any setups back in 2017. But the market was just really, really good. So parang kahit hindi mo alam ginagawa mo, you'll end up break even or sometimes you'll make money. So, yun. Uh, then, in 2018, like January, that's the time where I take it more seriously. Uh, I start journaling my trades. Uh, I start learning uh, moving averages, DARVAs, yung support and resistance, Fibonacci, and those stops. Uh, kaya lang, kaya lang, uh, I think the market is not as generous as it was back in 2017. So, yun, uh, instead, like, if you're a trader, like, alam mo na, it was, it was really, like, uh, famine or tag in it back in 2018 and feeling ko paano ba uh, my capital in in stock trading would be better if I try this new thing so ayun uh, kasi I, I, I was I was just losing money in, in stock trading to be honest so ayun uh, so here's where I'll end up or here's where this new like chapter this new thing that I would like to try so here's here's how here's the thing uh, I'll pull out the capital in my trading uh, in my stock trading portfolio and me and my friends would start a podcast so yun, uh, I guess like uh, the first quarter of this year and okay. Uh, since February, I felt uh, paano ba? a bit in a limbo, a bit in, nasa consolidation ako in, in what I wanted to do. So I think uh, that's a great thing to, to break yung, uh, yung, paano ba? yung consolidation na yun. So I, I hope it will break out. But ayun, uh, I guess that's just where I would end this video. Uh, yun, uh, if you're, you're paano ba? if you're feeling na you're not going anywhere, pero tingin mo you could like take on new risks, might as well try new things. So I guess that's just it for this video. I'm out.
If you enjoy watching this episode, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. I'll be releasing this kind of content every second and fourth week of the month. That's all I have for now. Hope you got something meaningful from this episode. Goodbye and have a great day.